Hi everybody. Uh, in this short lesson I wanted to talk about the domain of a function. When using an equation to describe a function, unless specifically indicated, uh, we assume that the domain is going to be all the real number inputs that give real number outputs. Now when you're first learning algebra there's really only <clears throat> two uh, situations that might lead to, to an event where you don't get a real number output. Number one is when you divide by zero, it's undefined, and so, so that wouldn't be a real number. And number two is when you take square roots of negative numbers, uh, that would, would also lead to a, uh, a result that's a, not a real number. So most uh, of the functions that you're familiar with when you're first learning algebra like this linear function, uh, you can't imagine that um, any x that would that would be a problem. You can plug any value of x into it and and uh, it'll only give you a real number output. And so in this case the domain is all real numbers which we may abbreviate as the uh, interval from minus infinity to infinity. x can be anything that you want right there. Uh, same thing with this one right here. Um, <clears throat> this would be the same thing as 1 8 x plus 5 8. It's just another linear equation. And there's no value of x that would be bad. We might wonder, well, what about x equals negative 5? Well, that would give me 0 over 8 and, and 0 divided by 8 0. So that's actually good. Um, so again, the domain here is, is all real numbers or the interval from minus infinity to infinity. Only when I get to this example here uh, that I've just flipped this one over, uh, notice if x was negative 5 in this one, I'd get 8 divided by 0. Well, 8 divided by 0 is, is very bad. That's, that's undefined. And uh, so, so in this case, um, the domain is going to be actually anything except negative 5. Any other value of x is okay. You know, x is uh, 14, no problem. That'd give me 8 over 19, and, and that works. Or, you know, x equals, uh, you know, negative 22. Um, that works. Uh, x equals the square root of 7. You know, anything, as long as it's not negative 5, is going to give you some value you could, you know, plug in your calculator and it'd work. And so here the domain is the set of all x as long as x does not equal negative 5. And that's the easiest way to do that. If you wanted to do that in interval notation, you'd have to say the interval from minus infinity to minus 5, union from minus 5 to infinity, remembering that this parenthesis over there means that you're excluding the point negative 5. And so since this is a little clunkier to write, we usually would write that in uh, set builder notation. Okay. Well, when I come down here, it's sort of hard to, to look at this one and say, well, well, what's the bad guy? What's going to make division by zero? And so what you would do is you just look at that denominator and say to yourself, I don't want whatever that denominator is, in this case, 3x plus 5. I don't want that to equal zero. That's what I don't want. Okay? So I don't want 3x to be negative 5. I don't want x to be negative 5 thirds. So my domain there would be the set of x such that x does not equal negative 5 thirds. And anything else will be just fine. Okay? Now, the, uh, the, the last problem there that I wanted to, to look at, um, or the, this uh, last one that there's an issue with anyway, uh, the square root of x minus 2. In this case, you can't take square roots of negative numbers, and so you want to say to yourself, you know, whatever is under that radical, we call it the radicand, I do want, I want x minus 2 to be greater than or equal to 0. That's going to make sure I'm not taking square roots of negative numbers, so in this case, I want x to be greater than or equal to 2. So, so this, uh, as long as I plug in 2, 2 minus 2 is 0, square root of 0, that's okay. Uh, 3, 3 minus 2 is 1, square root of 1 is 1. But if I plug in anything smaller than 2, like 1, 1 minus 2 is a negative 1, and the square root of negative 1 is not a real number. So, so in this case, the domain is going to be the set of x such that x is greater than or equal to 2. And uh, 
So an interval notation, that would be the interval that starts at 2, and I use a little square bracket here to include 2, up to infinity. Okay. Now, uh, uh, one last one here, x squared plus 1. Um, here, again, there's, there's, there's no, I'm not dividing by anything that has an x in it. I'm not taking square roots, and so in this case, the domain is going to be all real numbers again, or the interval from minus infinity to infinity. I can plug anything I want into that. There's no issue. So the only problems are where you have square roots or where you have uh, division by something that x might, might make that denominator equal to 0.